we're just about to go into lockdown and so before all this happens I would love 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 Karen for you to show us how to bake some of your cakes I've heard you make these things called scrummies and I've never ever tried them but everyone raves about them and you're probably going to start your own business now with these scrummies yes, so I, I want to be first in in I want to be the first to show everyone before you go and launch it okay 20% of the business um <laughs> what sorry scrummies are my my invention yeah um it, I would say it's a cross between a scone and a cookie and oh, a cake. A scookie. But you can actually put anything you like in. So we've got some scales. So we need a, a mixing bowl. On a scale of one to ten, what do you think? They're very good. We're going to start weighing the dry ingredients. Okay. All right, way to go. Go oh, on, video, good boy. Um, help. You're doing yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're doing the next bit. You're doing, um, one and you're doing well the done. Well done. Look at that. Right. What you do, you squeeze in. all the butter, look, all mm. like that into the flour. It's good fun. Good girl, girl Millie. Mm -hmm. Hold on, this is a very, very important part. What right, let's break them all up, Theo. Look. Break oh my god, you know what's it. happening tonight after dinner? A cup of tea and this, mate. Yeah, people love these with a cup of tea. Right yeah, they freeze really well. You want more? Hey, bunnies. If you put all your chocolate into there, oh, all I'm your chocolate. In. This is like egg whites, man. This one's <laughs> special for this mix. So that's caramel, that's scrummy. Oh. Do you know what I love? They love baking. Just mix it all in. That's you got a mixer. And you're making the white chocolate and raspberry. Oh, yeah, oh. let me see that one, Melzine. Oh, I know I'm wearing a hat indoors. It's only because I wanted it to match my hair. Right, get over it. A beanie hat and a t-shirt, that's an interesting look, isn't it? Now we need 50 grams of sugar in each one. Put it apart into the cup. Make sure you get it in the pot. Oh, hey, oh look at that. Good boy. That is oh, well that done. Is fantastic. So just to give you a brief of what's going on, um, so we've asked Karen, we've, we've asked Karen to come around and actually make some, teach the kids how to bake some scrummies, which are her invention. So a tablespoon. Roughly. Oh my gosh, Evs, look. That looks amazing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what looks better. Millie's, which ones are yours then? And what, what flavour are they? And um, white chocolate. And she's going to add some raspberries in, in a minute. Yes, well. I do. Can I just say, it's so nice to see you. Always to see you now. Nice to see you. I know you do. You look so radiant. And you're always smiling. And you know what? You are an unbelievable grafter, I've noticed. Like, you have not stopped working even when you should be. Love you. Your secret recipe, mate. You are Mrs. Sanders, Colonel Sanders. No, you're not. Nothing, because there's no chicken in this. Fact, it's vegetarian. Forget it. That looks you give it to me. amazing. You have a raspberry. I'm going to sprinkle the sugar on top. So a nice, we have a nice sprinkling of sugar because this is what. There's only a tiny bit of sugar inside. They don't need to go in the oven too long, so you don't have to wait too so long to eat minute them. Job? So about 10 minutes and then we'll have a look. They look scrummy. <laughs> the so we're going to leave them on there for a little bit because especially the caramel, it is boiling. So, this is the caramel Ooh. one. Should we cut it in the centre? Oh, that looks so good. Oh, got a lot of wow, look at that. Yeah. Gonna... Two, two, two thumbs then. Mm. Tell Karen, what do you think mm. of the cakes? Mm. Oh my God. Triple, triple what? Triple Mini thumbs up. 
Oh, I just said, what do you think of Karen's cakes? You went triple thumbs oh. up. Oh my God, Karen. Mm. People love them. Karen, they are unbelievable. Kids, can we get a thumbs <laughs> up? Triple thumbs up. Triple thumbs up. So, uh, it's a very special day today because we are opening and starting to decorate our house with Christmas things. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, we've got a tree already, but that's just the beginning. You have no idea where we're going with this. This is from Pete's sister Debbie gave this to us. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Where did she get it from Pete? Was it Bali? Bali. Um, touchdown, touchdown, Tullamarine. Been there, done that. I've been the Bali too. Have you ever heard that song? It's Never. an Aussie song. Not until now. <laughs> Basically, look, this is like a little bowl, and you just sort of like rub the garlic on there, right? Oh. Uh, We've got the stainless steel soap, so it's fine. Yes, we do, which I got from China. This thing here, I, I was you, really I get, I get skeptical one. about this. This thing here is a metal piece of soap. Well, now, it's just metal. Yes. Yes. Um, and so now that my it, fingers stink like garlic. Yeah, you use this. You wash your hands with it and all the garlic smell it's disappears gone. in about one second. Now, Emily was like, oh God, here we go again. Yeah. He gets these things, he finds them on Facebook. Yes, I found it on Facebook. But this thing to is To be genius. fair, your track record is very poor. <laughs> Finding things on Facebook. That Michael yeah. Jackson jacket he bought was the best. Well, I was doing Thriller, right? So I it was horrendous. Went and ordered this Michael Jackson. It coat. was horrendous. And literally, it looked like a King Jong Un jacket. <laughs> like it was just. Can we just point out how you call him King Jong Un as well? It is, isn't it? No. No, I know. Oh yeah, I keep saying King. Yeah. It's Kim. Yeah, yeah. But it's just that it's just a random name, like. <laughs> Not that random. This is literally like a lump of metal. And I have to say, I said to Pete. Yeah, that's a smelly hand. Good. I said to Pete, there is absolutely no way this is gonna work. Ooh. I was really skeptical. And I played the whole like, well, I'm a doctor card and it's not gonna work. And then it actually does work. The first lockdown, really not great because people were suffering. But for me, you know, I had all the family here. We were outdoors all day. It was summer, they were long days. I found this one a lot tougher. Nothing compared to what other people are going through. I know people that have, you know, people that have no family and, and no one to talk to and they're by themselves, I get that. But I guess, you know, everyone's in a different position and everyone has different views. I found it tough. When Emily's at work and she goes out and I'm in the studio, which is in the house, and I train, which is in the house, and the kids are at school. And then when they come home, they've been in a different environment and they're here, but me, I was here all day, all night. Found it, I found it tough this time, didn't I? Yeah, and I know we were all teasing you because we were like, when they announced the lockdown, we were kind of like, me and the kids were like, oh, are you still going to work? Yeah, I'm going to work. Are you still going to school? Yeah, and then we were like, so hold on a minute, who's the only person in lockdown? So, yeah, it was me because even though <laughs> then, I've adapted- Then you have actually found it quite hard. Uh, and you get mad at yourself for being sort of like, you know, why should you be complaining? And so you don't end up complaining. You just inter you internalize it and you start to reflect and think, I am allowed to feel, I'm allowed to have a bad day. That's what it is. It's bizarre. You don't know how lucky we are with everything until things get taken away. By the way, Junior, let me just say, Junior's upstairs. He's not at school because we got an email from the school saying all year 11s have to self-isolate for two weeks. When I told Junior, because there was coronavirus in the school, when I told Junior he was so excited, what do you mean? It's unbelievable, what do you mean? <laughs> then we got the email saying, but they have to do all their Zoom lessons live from quarter to nine in the morning. No, quarter past eight. Quarter past eight in the morning. Junior was devastated. All of a sudden he's like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, right. We love Christmas. Ems, that is a love heart. That is not an R. Kevin R. 
Right, I've got no idea what's in any of these boxes. Well, I do. Help me. I need to help you with these scissors because they're quite sharp. Easy, guys. Look, oh man, can they not even have one picture on it? <laughs> can you read? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, I figured it out. It's called talent, son. Why is his neck down? Oh, what about if I do this? Really we just thought there's generally been a bit of misery this year, so we just need a bit of Christmas cheer. Yeah. And oh, seeing as we're not allowed to go out anywhere as well, it gives us something to do. Oh, Leo, no! Oh, this is for you, my. Look, Is that the um, advent? Yeah, Get look at that! Uh, the Christmas decorations oh. are mainly for kids. Slash me. It's just going to be great for the kids, and I think we all just need something to just give us a bit of a give us a bit of a boost. You know what I mean? This year, bent it again. <laughs> just got the MC. You can't touch this. Yay! Just family time and bright lights for the kids, and it's just it's just a fun time of year, you know. They're not at school, it's a holiday, so... Dad! Yay! We've got a big friend here! Ooh! That one looks like it goes there. Is there a... There's got to be a body. That is insane. Look at that, Theo. Oh. Good idea. Oh. Theo, watch. Oh, yes. You're right. I oh really wouldn't hang it there on the door. Oh, it's going to be amazing. I just thought of a problem. What? If it's on the door, you are not going to do the wire. I'm going to put an extension. <laughs> That's it. Don't you worry, kids. Dad will get this working. Oh, I just chopped out by accident by shutting the door. Um, get set. Hey, come outside. I don't think it works on the front door. And it's amazing by the front door, but I think we should bring it in because it might just, just in case of the wind and stuff. I think we should put this inside, don't you? <laughs> no, it really works out there, it's just... You know what Theo keeps putting on a letter? Oh, Theo, are you playing? Constantly. This is me singing Kiss the Girl from The Little Mermaid. He loves it. Yeah. Um, hey, not that no. No. <laughs> no. I was, I mean, the front door works a lot, just didn't. Um, I'm gonna go and stay at the end because you just walked through about holding sparkly reindeer, but you're very lost. Hey, what about up here? Oh, here, yeah. Alexa. Oh, yeah, yes, just please watch. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh no, I'm not happy about this. I was all excited about this bad boy. Shall I put the reindeers in the back? I, need I reckon if we just put up a nail on the barbecue area. You've nailed it. I reckon out here could be good near the barbecue. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Guys, come up with a great idea. 